And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Well, we do have a couple areas of low pressure right now from the upper Midwest down into the southern plains. This area of low pressure will move into Wisconsin tomorrow and provide us a risk for some strong and potentially severe thunderstorms. The risk of severe storms is actually ongoing over parts of Minnesota and also down over the southern plains. There is a slight risk for severe storms right now over northern Minnesota and also parts of northern Wisconsin. A severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 9 o'clock this evening where there were several reports of some funnel clouds and also a tornado report in north central Minnesota. As for us, as we head into the day for tomorrow, we do have a marginal risk and a slight risk for severe storms. The risk for slight risk is mainly from Oshkosh up towards Sturgeon Bay with areas off towards the northwest, seeing a more stable atmosphere and less conducive for severe thunderstorm development. And we are under any potential hazard, whether it's an isolated tornado, hail or gusty winds. In terms of the tornado outlook, a 5% chance right now shaded in the brown for tomorrow, so it's a small chance. And then the hail and the gusty winds are under a 15% chance for that area under the slight risk. As we head into the overnight, we'll see on and off isolated showers and storms. Now as we get into the day for tomorrow, we'll have once again the potential for some isolated sprinkles or so, but getting into the later afternoon and evening, we'll have a cluster of showers and storms moving in. This is the potential and the time frame when we think we'll have the best chance to see some uh, slight risk for severe weather going into Tuesday morning. Some wraparound precipitation on the backside of this area of low pressure. It'll be more so in the form of rain, but certainly a potential for an isolated shower or storm. Rainfall prospects anywhere from now until on Tuesday afternoon. We can pick up anywhere from uh, under a quarter of an inch to more than an inch of rain. Really just depends on if we see several rounds of thunderstorms over a given area, a specific area over time and time again. Right now it is 74 outside. Doesn't feel whatsoever like October. Winds coming in out of the south at 13 miles per hour. We've got temperatures all the way up towards the UP in the mid 70s, 76 in Fond du Lac, 72 in Appleton and in Oshkosh. Humidity wise, dew points in the upper 60s in Manitowoc, mid 60s in Sheboygan. You just go outside and you feel that dampness, a little humidity up in the air. We'll cool off to 63 overnight tonight with a few isolated showers and storms. Southwest winds 5 to 10. We'll get up into the upper 60s for tomorrow. Additional isolated showers and thunderstorms, some of which may potentially be severe. Southeast winds 5 to 15. We get into the upper 60s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Additional isolated showers and storms. Finally, dry weather returns as we head through Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But with it, more fall-like temperatures might not even break 60 on Saturday. We'll be back after the break.